question. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, uh, Chris Smith here. I blog at uh, the other McCain and uh, got a question concerning the uh, Congressional Black Caucus. And there's been a couple of names dropped: uh, Charlie Wrangell and Maxine Waters for the. Uh, various uh, ethics concerns and uh, so to what degree do you think that could be some sort of uh, lingering bit of racism and singling out of people or or is it they're just uh, being cagey and kind of have a soft bigotry of uh, low ethical expectations? Well a few uh, <laughs> weeks ago I think the um, Congressional Black Caucus uh, did a very poor thing in the public relations department when 20 of them signed a resolution saying that they wanted to scale back the power of the Office of Congressional Ethics. I thought to myself, boy, do you, can you get your money back for the PR person that puts you up to that move? <laughs> um, my view is that ethics are not measured in black and white, but in right and wrong. And it should be quite clear from what we've learned so far that there is a right way and a wrong way. Now, I wrote about this today on regularfolksunited.com. They're not going to go to jail. There are no criminal charges involved. They're probably not going to lose their seats because the constituents that voted for them before were aware of all of these issues and are still putting them into office. And more likely than not, they're going to get some kind of slap on the wrist. So there is no real consequence. So why are we going through this whole circus of an ethics trial? Uh, it, it just sounds, it's a lot of melodrama, it's a lot of theater. And I think it's theater with a purpose. And uh, one of the things I've been saying, and it's somewhat providential timing that when this book comes out, all of a sudden the topic of race has become so uh, highly charged, but I think it's deliberate. I think that there is an intent to distract people from the core issues like jobs, the economy, and national security. And so I have no doubt that one of the reasons we're going to have this trial is so that they can scream racism and everybody can say amen. But I don't think it's going to work. Uh, again, one of the things I point out in the book is I think over time people are starting to get tired of being accused of something that isn't in their hearts. And they're starting to push back. I mean, I've met so many people who are just sick and tired of having their good intentions referred to as racism. And I don't think they're going to put up with it. I think the whole white guilt thing is starting to go away. I think they're starting to say enough is enough. You know, I know my heart, I know where I am, and I'm not there. So you're going to start seeing more of that. 